Hi, I'm Stefan, the BMW DIY guy, and you know, race cars use blanketing to control exhaust temperature and increase power, and now you can too. All right guys, so before we do this install really quickly, let's talk about the reasons why. Now, hopefully you've watched my part one, which is my turbo blanket install that, that replaces all of those drip shields with actual turbo blankets from Funk Motorsports. Now, the other thing to take a look at is actually your downpipes, because they also are right up there, up against your turbos. They're directly underneath your engine bay on that, on that left side of your motor. So that 1600, 1700 degrees of temperature is all rising up directly into your intake pipes. Now, anything you can do to reduce your intake air temperature, your IATs is better. Now, I saw a study that shows for every 10 degrees of temperature, you either gain or lose 1% of power, depending on whether it's hotter or colder. So anything that we can do to re reduce those IATs is going to help power. Now, the other thing is hotter exhaust temperature, the better, the less radi that radiates out. And the more that's kept into those gases means those exhaust gases actually move faster and they're actually exiting your exhaust even faster. So you get more temperature out the back and less temperature radiated out in your engine bay. Now, Funk makes a fantastic set of downpipe blankets that we're going to install. So we have to work them around our O2 sensors, but we're gonna cover our downpipes to try to get as much of that heat trapped and kept within the downpipes themselves and out the exhaust. This is what race cars do to get that maximum amount of power that they can possibly extract. And we're gonna do this here in our street car because it does make a difference and it is going to reduce engine bay temperatures as well. All right, so let's jump into it, take a look at it. Now, one thing really, really quickly, as you can tell, my car's already in the air. Whenever you put your car up in the air, you have to be safe about doing this. Now, I'm using my quick jacks. You can always check out my video on that. You can do this work with a jack and jack stands, but please use jack stands. I'm always gonna say this on every project that I have my car in the air. Do not bet your life on a 50 cent part in your jack that can fail. If the car comes down, it can damage your car, or if you're underneath, underneath it, it can kill you. So please don't do that. Go ahead and use a jack, but put jack stands underneath. Make sure your car is secure. All right, so let's go ahead and slide underneath. The very first thing we're going to do is take out that whole series of 16 millimeter bolts that holds on the stiffening plate underneath. So let's take a look at that. All right, also here we are underneath the car. If you're not familiar with taking your stiffening plate off, this is what we're looking at. So you've got a whole series of eight millimeter bolts that are these little plastic trim bolts that go all the way around. Now, I've got the Turner Motorsport skid plate, so this piece is, if you haven't replaced yours, it's gonna be black plastic, but it's gonna be exactly the same with the same eight millimeter bolts around the perimeter. So take out all of the eight millimeters around the perimeter, and then you've got all of the 16s all the way around on the stiffening plate and drop this down. Now, when this drops down, it's pretty heavy. So what I normally will do is I'll take out the perimeter ones first and I'll leave the, the center ones to the last. That way it's not sagging or hanging funny. And then as I take out the last, last bolt, I'll brace this and go ahead and set it down. So go ahead and take all of those off, take your stiffening plate off, and then we'll take a look at the downpipes underneath. And I also, also wanna show what the blankets look like and kind of the wrapping process that we're gonna go through. All right, y'all, so let's go ahead and show you kind of away from the car for a moment the blankets and how best to install these. And I'm going to give you two different ways. Now, I actually would have loved to have installed these at the same time I did my downpipes when I had mine out. And I'll, and I'll talk about that process, and then I'm going to do the other way of doing it because I'm not going to take my downpipes back out. But here's my existing downpipe, right? And these blankets will work on both uh, OEM and aftermarket. You can see your big O2 bungs here. Now, if you look, when you look at these installed, you've got these big sensors that plug in here and cables that run off. So if I was installing this at the same time, I would wrap my blanket in place around my pipes with the right orientation to know which way is up, right? Because the cables are gonna come up, heat rises. I would lay my blanket out and then actually cut a very small cross X hole or a cross axe opening in the blanket itself to feed the cable through and to feed the O2 sensor through as well. And it would actually stick through. That's, that's the best way of doing it. And it, have it nice right up against where it meets up against the V-band and the turbo and have it mapped down there really nicely. Now I'll show you the springs here in a second because you're gonna hook the springs around these little posts and hook it around the other side as you wrap the blanket all the way around. Okay, and you'd have to punch holes in different locations. So, 
The other way is to slide it up into place, which is what I'm going to do. So when we're back underneath the car, I'm gonna feed the blanket up and around the downpipe itself. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up in a situation where it's gonna be around the O2 sensor as best I can. And then I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna use my springs around to pull the blanket down tight and hold it tightly into place. Now, if you notice, it doesn't close right at the moment because this is a, a four inch blanket or a blanket for a four inch pipe, right? And this is bigger than that. So don't expect that gap there normally, but that's gonna be the best way to fit it all in and it'll make sense. Okay, y'all, here we are back underneath the car and, and I just kind of want to give you orientation here. So front of the car here, your mid pipe here where it connects to both down pipes, right? With the S55, you've got two. And you really could use these instructions on an N55 single down pipe as well. It's going to be the same process. So what you're going to need to do in this case, like I said, is feed the blanket up and over these pipes and slide it up as high as you can go. Now you can see your O2 sensor right here. And this is what I was talking about where, where you would you know, cut an X opening through the blanket and feed this up through, or you could orient it perfectly uh, when you have the pipes out. Since I'm retrofitting this, I'm going to slide the blanket up into place as best I can and get it to fit the best I can um, without taking my down pipes back out. I'm, I'm not gonna do that in this case. And I don't think you have to, I just think the best fitment is going to be is when the down pipes are out and you can measure exactly and fit exactly. Now, also, there's, there's those round posts um, on the blanket itself, and you have your springs that come with it. You have a whole bag full of springs with loops at either end. So you'll put a spring around one loop post on the other side and stretch it around and, and connect it to a loop post on the other side to pull the blanket closed. Now, what you might want to consider doing is hanging some of those springs first, because as you slide this up into place as high as you can get it up against the turbo, and all the way up there, you can see my turbo blanket as well, right up there where it meets the downpipe, okay? So I would hang some of those springs first because that way you're not trying to reach up and, and hang a spring and, and stretch it. All you have to do is stretch it around and hook it to the other. Um, and you'll be good to go. So let me partially slide up one of my blankets. Now on your, on your front one, I would probably do it over the top and push it up from the top edge uh, because you've got very tight clearance against your subframe right here and, and very tight clearance against the motor over on this side. So let me get a blanket partially hung in place and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so let's get you caught up here. So it really is just a matter of fitting the blanket up and I did it face with the kind of the open side up to get it up underneath all of the subframe. And there's very little clearance between your pipe and your subframe. So the other thing is I still have a plastic trim tool jammed in right here and I'll show you why. So you'll see, it's a little bit hard to see right here, but it's this plate right here. There's an edge, kind of like this edge right here, on the back part of that plate right here. And of course the, the blanket wants to hang up on it. So what I found really easily is if I slid a plastic trim tool in between the two, I could push on it and it would slide past that plate. Now the other thing is, this is a plastic trim tool for pulling out like plastic rivets. It also fits perfectly on those spring posts on the blankets themselves. So I find it very easy to be able to hook into one of the spring posts and I can push to try to get it up. So you just slide and work and slide and work and slide and work. And as you can see, as we look up here, it's hard to see right at the moment because I don't have the spring attached, but right here is the top of the turbo and it's wrapped all the way around and there is my top O2 sensor right there. So it's at the point where my springs are on the back side. So in this methodology, I had my, I had three springs, one, two, three at the top. They were pushed all the way up and around and I've put one hand up here and another hand back through the subframe here. And I can reach all the way up and pull at the top of the blanket to pull it up and snug it up to the top while feeding it up. The only real challenge is that if you do it too aggressively, you'll squish all of the inner insulation down a bit and make a bit of a ball. So I've got a little bit extra right here that I'm just working, I'm working the inner material up. And like I said, if you only take this approach, if you're installing after your downpipes or you're doing it onto OEM downpipes, okay? Um, really, the preferred method really would be to install this with your downpipes at the same time and they would lay, be laid out perfectly and attached perfectly uh, with holes for the O2 sensors and you just go up and you'd hang your downpipes. But in this case, I just want to put the blankets on after the fact. So you can see the post there. I've got a spring on the backside that you can't see right now, but it's 
you can reach it easily with your hand on the other side of your steering rack. You can reach your hand up, grab the spring, stretch around and hook it on that post. And then it'll be snug right up against the lower blanket and the V band of the turbo. Then I'm just going to work my way down. I've got one, two, three springs that I can easily reach. I can reach another one of the posts here as well for the third spring. And then I'm going to connect springs on this lower edge and work them up and over. Now, we'll have a little bit of a gap. This is an 18 inch blanket, so there'll be a little bit of a gap between the flex joint, but that's okay. This is about all about keeping as much heat as possible out of the engine bay and trapped in the downpipe. So this will be uh, really, really good for that. And the little bit of extra is fine. All right, so the longest pipe is in and, and secure. Wanted to show my zip tie trick again that I used uh, on my uh, turbo blankets themselves. So you actually put a zip tie around the loop of one of the springs so you can attach it on one side and then you can use the zip tie to feed around through narrow spaces and then pull on the zip tie to get the spring around. Now, the one thing I've gone on this side of my O2 sensor and kind of around, you've got very, very tight clearance between some of the subframe elements, uh, the bottom of your engine mount right here, and the, and the motor clearance on this side. So what I've got is I've got two springs here and here. I've got the whole thing pushed up and around and gathered around really nicely in the middle. And there's a not enough clearance to get a spring around. There just, there just isn't. So then if I can move around here, you can see two springs at the top. It's gathered really nicely around the top O2 sensor that you can see right there. And I've got two springs all set up and good to, good to go there, pulling it all nice and tight. So I've got two at the bottom, wrapped tightly in the middle where I fed it up around, and two at the top, holding it securely. So that, that one is done. Now on this one, now again, we've got the, uh, the longer of, of the turbo blankets. I might turn this one sideways, but we'll see. If I run lengthwise, I'm going to run it down as far as I can over... The lower connection here but then let me get it all set up and now on this one i'm going to take it and i'm going to feed it up and over the top the same way with my springs on the back edge so i can pull them around if i have to use my zip tie trick i'll pull it around but i want to get it nice and snug as far as i can up against the turbo on the top so let me get that hung and i'll show you what it looks like okay so you can see the front is in place now and then i've used my zip tie trick so i've got three springs that i put on uh, the far edge. So I rolled it over the top of the pipe and put three springs on the far edge. And then I attached zip ties to the springs, wrapped them around the downpipe. So as I slid it up, I could pull the springs. So the top spring is connected. It's a little hard to see right now, but it's connected and it's all the way up against the top pipe and, and against that top O2 sensor. The second one, which is my second zip tie here is going to come around above the mid O2 sensor and then the third one which is here is going to come under the, the mid the O2 sensor so slide it all around use a plastic trim tool right there to try to get it between the the heat shield and your mid pipe and just kind of guide it all up into place it really is just guiding this blanket it's such a hard angle to film I'll be honest with you it's much easier with your head here underneath and you can see what you're doing it's very hard to film because the blanket itself starts to take up the space. So once I get those three all secure, I will clean up the bottom here and I will get that wrapped around and I will get at least two springs here in the bottom and get the rest of this all wrapped around. Chances are this is going to be up above the join by the time I get it the rest of the way, the way in. But you'll, I'll put springs on the backside, hook them around, and I'll connect here and we'll be good to go. All right, y'all, so this side is all done. You can see the spring hooks all down through this lower section. I actually found a curved hook of a pick tool worked really well to grab onto those posts and help pull them around the pipe. So everything is secure. So go ahead and put uh, your stiffening plate back on, those 16 millimeters all the way around, and then the eight millimeters on the outside, and, and you're done. All right, guys, so all wrapped up. So a couple of things here really quickly. Quick reminder, make sure to wear goggles when you're underneath your car. You get material down off those blankets. I'd also recommend wearing gloves as well uh, because you can pick up little bits of the material. So uh, that'll help protect your hand and your eyes while you do it. As you can tell, this really isn't all that hard. And if I was changing my downpipes, <clears throat> I'd absolutely do it at the same time. But in this case, you can fit it up and over. And it's just a matter of just being patient and, and working it all up into place. My zip tie trick where you attach a zip tie to the end of the spring and use that to guide it around your pipes like we did, like I did on the turbos works really, really well. So make sure to take advantage of that. Thank you to Funk for making such a fantastic product. I love having their stuff in my car. I'm really looking forward to the difference that this is going to make. 
please click subscribe and the little alarm bell. It makes a huge difference to my channel. And I'll see you on my next project.